G'day, g'day. This is Cece from Generation Wellness Global. And I wanted to share, this is a bit of a personal session today. Um, they're all personal because I've done all of this work and um, I love, I love healing on a spiritual and emotional level. It's changed my life. It's changed the lives of my clients and my friends and the people that I get to help. And it's such a blessed experience to be able to help people just to come to know themselves a little bit better once they've cleared some of the, the fears or the negative beliefs um, that we might have taken up in childhood um, through experiences in life, through misunderstanding. Um, when we're younger, we, we kind of don't really filter the same way we do it when we're older. And so we kind of take in a lot of stuff that may not be strictly true, a lot of negative beliefs about ourselves and, and how the world should work and things like that. And so healing that and and moving through that is really incredibly powerful but I wanted to share today um, an experience that I had where I was accused of something really awful um, and I knew that the person who was accusing me it was we were going through some stuff um, some really big life-changing stuff and so I understand that hurt people hurt people. I could see that that person was lashing out, but still what I was accused of was really quite confronting. And a friend, when I was sharing this with a friend, she said, what I'm hearing in your voice is guilt. Is there anything to these claims? And I was, initially I was horrified. I was like, oh my goodness, is it really true? Am I really that person? And I sat with it because I have enough experience with healing to know that when you hear something uncomfortable, you've got to sit with it and process and, and feel through it. And so I sat with it and I said to her, no, it's not true. However, I carry a lot of guilt around all the times that I, that I haven't been perfect at this, that I haven't, that I've kind of misstepped and the, the ramifications to my children and to others through me not being a better person or me not being the mother that I could be or, you know, all of that mother guilt stuff. Um, so it was really interesting how what that person said really hurt me because on some level, even though it wasn't true, on some level I really did believe that I that I wasn't a good person and that maybe they were right in some way. And so there was a lot of releasing, repenting, crying on the kitchen floor <laughs> that happened with that. And, wow, it was really big. I did a lot of praying and a lot of clearing and healing and um, it was powerful. And then... It was really interesting because the same accusation came at me the next day and I was triggered again. I was so upset. I was so devastated and I instantly went, there's something else I need to heal. And it shifted my perspective so powerfully that I could actually thank that person for being horrible to me because <laughs> they weren't being nice, but I could thank that person and sincerely go, thank you for showing me that there's actually more healing for me to do. And I did another big prayer, repentance, clearing um, session process. And then the energy changed completely. That topic did not come up again for months and months. And when it did, it was no, no. There is nothing to that and you won't do that to me again. And that was it. It was done. That thing, the power that that accusation had was gone. That There was no power left in that anymore. And so that, that person who was trying to use that against me realised that that weapon had lost its power and so they let it go. And it was so incredibly powerful to go through that process of repenting and healing and clearing 
Um, it was it was amazing. But also what was amazing was the moment that I realized being triggered and upset by someone, something someone else said that was hurtful was something to be grateful for and to go, okay, there's something here I need to pay attention to. There's something here that I need to heal because it has power over me because I'm upset by that. And I know that that person's just lashing out out of their own fear, out of their own hurt. So it's not even about me. That's their stuff. But it triggered me, so I have something I need to heal. And I was so grateful that they had shown me that. It was such an incredible experience. And so I invite you to love thy enemies. <laughs> um, love those who try to hurt and persecute you. Because if they're hurting you, it's just showing you something that you need to pay attention to and to pray about and to heal on some level and if it's not hurting you then you can see you will see that it's their stuff and it's their hurt that they're lashing out and you will just be able to have compassion for that person who's hurting and that is the most beautiful gift to be able to be in a place where you have that christ-like compassion for someone else and that's what comes from doing this work and really going to that deep level to be able to be free of your own fears and your own negative beliefs and the things that you've picked up through life and just to be able to see others with compassion because you can see that they're, they're like you. They're just hurting and struggling through their childhood wounds and, and um, negative experiences and we can have compassion for them in their suffering and so I just wanted to share because it's such it's such a powerful experience and I love to help people do this work and I would love to help you I would love to hear from you I would love to hear if you've had any kind of similar experience where you've healed something and been able to look at someone who's trying to hurt you and just love them and have compassion and forgiveness for them so I'm getting emotional. Thanks for joining and I hope this really spoke to you. Please um, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you and God bless. Take care.